So, hi everybody, it's me again. Uh, in the last video we've seen the preamp model, the tube stage and the standard uh, preamp which is built into the board. Uh, you could have something like uh, deep plugins which are plugins which are embedded and do not raise the latency. Yay! This is great! And I bought the one of the compressors just to give it a test and you can find if you buy them you can find them uh, in the if you go to your compressor si side and press the library button you can see all the models which are available so standard manual peak manual rms docker mode and then the ones you have to buy it separately opto 16t 16vu peak limiter oh go back uh -huh. and find the page again so we go to Compressor side, hit library. Oop, let me see it again. Oh, yeah, out of focus. It's running wild. And if you turn the browse knob, you can see there are the other ones. And uh, I bought the 16T because I like it. I have a real one for my bass player. Hit recall, and there it is. And it looks great, and I think it sounds pretty much like the original one. And you have the can see the inputs and the outputs. You can you have a threshold, a knee. Um, on the original one, it's uh, there is an over easy button, which is maybe the knee, but I don't think so. And it's a compression ratio and the output gain, the makeup gain. So, and it works nicely. Let me see. I've got some some audio right now running over there. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> Maybe yes, maybe not. Nobody knows. Oh, there it is. And you can see it's quick and it's punchy. So, and it works fine. And a very good thing is you have the parallel path and you have a sidechain filter for that one as well. So, enjoy. See you next time.